What is going on guys? Zappe here, back for yet another PMU video. Man, two in one day, look at that. This time around, we have a dungeon to revisit, actually. It is not a new dungeon, but one that was actually remade a little bit. I recommend having cut for this. Otherwise, just follow what I'm doing here with the water, and just follow the path I'm taking, essentially. Um, we're revisiting Cliffside Cave, but it is not Cliffside Cave anymore at the same time. This dungeon was completely revamped, and we are going to be visiting what is now called Cliffside Relic instead of Cliffside Cave. So we come down here, and obviously this looks a lot more different than you probably remember. Hey look! It's Golem from Cliffside Cave! Ugh, some tough Pokemon kicked me out of my home. Now I have to live here, out here in this stupid tent. So it looks like Golem was kicked out by something. We might as well go explore, shall we? Let's do it. You cannot be rescued and all parties are disbanded. This is now a solo dungeon. You cannot be carried. You must clear it yourself. So right away, um, scenery is going to change after... at. Um, of course, it starts one after one. 8F for another, and 15 for the last. So there's three different parts. We're going to cover the first um, part here, which we are going to be seeing Rattata, Krabby, Zubat, Diglett, Geodude, Grimer, Makuhita, and Aaron are all recruitable for at least the first seven floors. Rattata and Krabby will be um, going away after the first eight floors. But yes, this is now a dungeon in which you have to solo. You cannot ask other people for help. And this also introduces this, a brand new item called the Ether Plus. Why don't we take a read of it? Well. Oh, wow. He cringed me. Okay. So let's read the Ether Plus. A nutritious drink with an extra kick of Lepa Berry that restores 15 PP to your moves when ingested. This is an upgrade to Ether by doing um, four ad or five additional PP per move now. Very cool. Not anywhere else but here as well. The Clauncher that you see here are not recruitable. The Eradicates are not recruitable either. So don't even try to see if you could do that or recruit them because you can't. I don't know why I'm using this because there is, I'm pretty sure, no weather in here. Anyways. Obviously, we're going to be clearing this a little quickly because we are a Gabite. Let me train this guy up because I kind of still haven't finished him yet. But the other dungeon that we did, Scorched Grasslands, there was no way he was going to be able to work in there. Shinies, of course, can be in here, so definitely be on the lookout and listen for that sound. This dungeon is now, by the way, 21 floors long instead of 12 that it used to be with only two sections. Alright, let's continue on. We are on the final floor of the first part here. Alright, let's kill this Geodude, I guess, for a little bit of extra XP, and part two. Music change in the scenery obviously changes. Rattata and Krabby are now gone, but now we have two additional recruits that you would not get normally this early, but now you can. There's one of them right there, Golit. Golit will only attack if you attack him. So we're going to actually go for it, because I don't think we have a goal at yet. So with all of our requirements here, it looks like a 59.5% chance. And we actually did not get it. Wow. But I do believe they are fairly common here. And the other one is Ferocid. That is the other one that normally you would not be able to get this early, but you can. Sorry about the siren that's in the background. And Grimer, Zubat, and all those are still um, kicking around here. They just are 
I, that's why I mentioned, um, well, 1 through 14. So besides, like, the Ferrasi and Golet, Aaron, Makahita, Grimer, Geodude, Diglett, and Zubat are all still going to be here. Diglett is a lot less common because of Arena Trap, though. So do take that note. And there's a Ferrasi actually right now. Hello. I don't know if we have that yet. Wow, we didn't get that either. Dang. There we go. This item right here is what Power Band looks like if I haven't shown the remade thing of that. We didn't get... Aaron wanted to join, but the Golet did not join us. I was not trying to kill it, but unfortunately we did. I'm not going to put on a mobile scar, so we'll just kind of run around. Ooh. I think I'm going to take that if we have a spot that we can do that with. Eh, extra max ether. We can take a... Oh, wait. These are tiny revs. Right. Not that high of a level place to have rev seed yet. Yeah, whoops. There is one brand new recruit that also has never seen the daylight outside of events that will be in the third section. So we will hopefully get to see that. But let's see, about to getting towards the end here. No. Oh. Poo. Alrighty. I think that was a Frosty up here, wasn't it? Oh no, that's a Golet. I always do that friend bow and then switch cement. Wow, we are getting very unlucky. We have an open spot and everything, and that's a 59.5% chance that we, well, get the goal, at, and we didn't get it. Wow. Oh, crap. Oh, perfect timing. Um. There's a Ferrah Seed for us. Level 20. There it is. So we got the Ferrah Seed at least, but we also will be revisiting this place for a second run. We'll see why. But anyways, 15F, here we are. And you can probably see the new recruit right in the corner. Starting 15F only, you can get yourself Rock Rough in here. It is... Um, the only spot to get Rock Rough, but it is a brand new evolution. Oh, wait. Whoops. <laughs> I think we do have one anyways, and there's only one form of Rock Rough that I honestly like. So, I'm not too upset that I just did that. It's mainly that Golet if we can find another one that I want a second piece of. But for now, oh, hello. Let's see if we happen to get. Hey, there it is. There's a rock rough. Look at the cute little puppers. All right. Anyways, let's continue on in here. We still got a few more floors to go here. Like I said, there is a reason we are going to be revisiting this dungeon yet again. Ooh, double goal at chances. Now that's what I like to see. And there's a goal at for us. There we go. Nice. There we are. Oh, another rock rough. Let's see if we maybe get it so we can maybe get all three. Well, there's a lot more besides the rock rough, though. Hey, we got it. <laughs> Okay, that'll work for me. I guess to also continue about things... Oh, nice little chamber here. Secret of Evolution, uh, you shall need an... <laughs> You're being watched while reading this, that's funny. To talk about another little change, um, oh, Doug Trio, definitely be careful because that's in here now as well, and it will trap you unless you have Levitate or you're a ghost type. Um, talk about another little change. Um, 
Tiny Grotto's been split into two places, and maybe we can go over that quickly in a different video. But there was an additional Pokemon added, but not recruitable into Tiny Grotto. And the second part that had Roselli and everything and required, like, you to have beaten Cliffside Cave to enter. That, I guess, we might be able to show off quickly in another video, but I don't know if that's really necessary. Because I think the Pokemon... Wow. Oh, because I'm still holding the... Right. Oops. Um, yeah, so we... It's not really much different. I don't think it actually has any different recruits at all. I think it makes Shroomish available earlier than having to go to Mount Barricade for it, and thus making it available to Shiny Hunt as well, outside of Eggs. Which, Eggs can still not have Shinies up to this point, so... Yep, oh, Ferrasi wanted to join. And yeah, Cliffside Relic can actually have shards for one floor. <laughs> yeah. Um, and... We reach the end, and it's a Type Null! Follow me. I sense you've come here with the intent of pursuing the force known as evolution. That is quite a selfish desire. Many Pokemon do not know the consequences to themselves and those around them. I was once evolved. They called me Silvali. I was created to rival the gods themselves. But I went on a rampage. I was terrified of my own strength. I didn't ask for such power. My creators were also aware, which is why they put this mask on me to suppress my power. Now I am finally at peace. I came here to warn other Pokemon of their fate. After hearing my story, are you still prepared to evolve? I see. With that in mind, I would like to test your abilities. I want to know whether you're capable of handling yourself. If you're able to best me in combat, I will recognize your skill and give you an item essential for evolution. Guard yourself. Here I come. Type Null is the brand new Cliffside Cave boss. I recommend if you don't, make sure to have an item slot available like we do here at the end. You will see why in about two seconds. Splendid. I see now that you are worthy of evolution. Please take this engraved tablet. If you bring it to Lumen's chamber far west of here, you'll be able to evolve if you meet the requirement. He straight drops it on the ground. Never before seen has a boss straight dropped an item in the story. With that said, evolution is completely optional. Reflect on your fate wisely. Farewell, player name, but in our case, Chinese background. So yes, you do not have to press enter on the wall. The boss straight drops the engraved tablet for you. Now that it's done, we have completed Cliffside Relic and we have our engraved tablet. I say since it's in our inventory already, why don't we, uh... Hey, Shane, you with me. Why don't we, uh, head over there? For this part, you do not need to actually evolve something. You just need to take the engraved tablet here. Believe me, you must, as soon as you get the tablet the first time now, do do what I am doing here. Because there is something unique that this dungeon is the only one that does it. Our favorite parties are disbanded. We head up into here. You see the door open and we head up here. Once we get all the way to the top, right about here. Type Null visits us! Ah, player name, but in our case, Shiny Zekrom. I expected to meet you here. So you've decided to evolve, is it? I've been thinking to myself, and I think it's time I might try to evolve myself. Allow me to show you how it's done. When you meet the requirements for your evolution, step into the light. That will allow you to evolve, like so. As you can see, it is quite simple. I apologize for the short meeting, but I must go and stand guard at Cliffside Relic once more. Farewell, player named but in our case saying Zekrom. So type null straight evolved. We do not meet the requirements, but we are gonna exit out of here.
And we're going to head right back for Cliffside Cave again. Or Cliffside Relic, excuse me. See, even me, I, I'm still not used to it yet. So who do we have? We have Blim, I think. So we'll quickly grab... Where is he? There he is. We will add Driftblim back to our party. And like I said, we're going to head straight for Cliffside Cave again. Except this time we'll just quickly max Ether. Now of course we don't have cuts, so we're going to be doing the same exact thing we did last time. Which is to the right of Sunny Hillside, which is going to be over this way. We're going to take the water route again. I would recommend having cut before doing this though. I think we're safe to switch back to Gabite again. And we're going to revisit the dungeon again. There's a specific reason I want to, and this is, like I said, this is something unique to this dungeon that doesn't happen in any other dungeon. That was just discovered by staff on how they could do this. Let's enter again. So it's obviously the same recruits and everything, and it's the same exact dungeon. Nothing changes the second time you come through. Except for one thing. Which we're just going to basically do a pretty standard rush sequence here, where we're just going to race towards getting the... getting to the end. And like I said, we are going to listen, though, because at least on the way back, we have a chance of a shiny appearing. Ooh, give me that back. I'd love to catch a shiny spawning in the middle of a video to show you guys what it's like. That'd be incredible. And very, very lucky. Alright, we reach part two. And this is obviously something unique that we're going through a dungeon twice in one video. But this is to show you something, like I mentioned, that staff discovered that might become a thing in future dungeons. I guess let's just take a warp. Oh, that didn't take us very far and I did it <laughs> up here maybe nope it's definitely somewhere over here there it is and to find a shiny listen for that sound and I would definitely and highly recommend that you, um, whatchamacallit, have your sound effects on at all times because there is a, like I said, the magic, um, 258 or 158, whatever it was, um, sound effect goes off every time that that happens. <laughs> Or every time a shiny spawns, I should say. I also forgot to mention, once it hits um, 15F here, Zubat, Diglett, Geodude, Grimer, Makahita, Aaron all go away. And, of course, Rockruff coming in and everything. 
Um, however, there is no shiny chance of Rock Rough, Golet, or Ferocid yet. So, hopefully in the future there will be. Just a couple more floors to go here. Almost there. Grab the money. Any money will do. Alright, so the stairs gotta be somewhere over here. Hello. Oh, they're there. Almost missed that. Alright, final floor. All right, pay attention here. Titano doesn't greet us. Nobody here. Nobody in this chamber. And Silvali is up here. So you've returned, player name, but in our case, Shiny Zekrom. Are you here to test your strength, or do you seek another engraved tablet? It does not matter. I will gladly take this opportunity to test your skills. I must warn you, though, I am much stronger than I was before. Guard yourself. And we battle type null or Silvali, Jesus Christ, good job me. Both are just straight normal types. They do have, I believe, a different moveset though, but that's it. Once again, I marvel at your strength. It's not much to you anymore, but I'll leave another engraved in tablet for you here. That aside, I will remain here, guiding the lost to their destination and testing their resolve. If you decide to visit again, let us have a showdown. Farewell, player name, but in our case, is that Yes, you face a different boss if you take over to the Faded Relic as soon as you get your engraved tablet. This is the first time that a boss changes when going through a dungeon again, but only under certain requirements. You must beat Titan the first time, get the engraved tablet, and then afterwards you must head over to the Faded Relic go up to that point where the type null uh, storyline triggers, and then you have to come back again to fight Silvali. This is the only dungeon that features a boss completely different from the first one under certain, certain circumstances. And not only that, but it's also the first boss that actually drops an item within their storyline. As you see, Titan and Silvali both times dropped the engraved tablet when they were in the middle of dialogue. First time a um, boss has ever done that as well. So a couple of firsts that we could be seeing for more dungeons to come. But for now, that is going to take us to the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update to what was Cliffside Cave but is now called Cliffside Relic. And a little bit of a different mechanic change that we might see in the future. But yeah, again, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll meet you back for either a new dungeon video, or the last event, or a new event that we haven't recorded yet. See you guys then. Peace.